This segment of Del Marvel Life is brought to you by Ocean City Department of Tourism. I'll tell you what, Ocean City Spring Fest 2016 is the place to be. We've been hanging out on the boards, having so much fun. You know what my favorite part of the boardwalk is? What? Watching the people. Oh, you see yeah. so many different people. You know what I like to do? I like to come out here before the people get here and go for a jog up and down the boardwalk. Oh, it's so see. much fun. So why not take a stroll down the iconic boards? They're just a step away from Spring Fest. There's just so much to experience along the two and a half mile long span. That wasn't always the case. The first boardwalk was constructed in 1900. A few years later, the Trimper family built an amusement resort and the boards were expanded. In 1925, there was a massive fire and just eight years later in 1933, a massive storm that destroyed the boards. Rebuild after rebuild led to the well-known boards we have today. Over the years, it expanded as the town expanded. Um, it went up to 9th Street for a while, uh, about that area. Um, and then when the Commander Hotel was built in 1930 on 40, uh, 14th Street, the boardwalk didn't even go that far. So later on it expanded to 15th Street and then I would say by about 1960s it, it made it all the way to 27th Street. In 1991 the town built a massive seawall to protect the boardwalk from storms and in 2012 the boardwalk was renovated with all new boards. And just a stone's throw away, I wish I had a stone, just a stone's throw away from this iconic boardwalk mm -hmm. is the iconic Ocean City Pier, and that's where Sean is. I wish I had a stone. <laughs> Jimmy and Lisa, back in January, a nor'easter caused some pretty hefty damage to Ocean City's iconic fishing pier. Taking a look at the pier from Chopper 16. Of course, work on the pier was originally supposed to be completed by Memorial Day weekend, but town officials say the recent rain has put repair work a little behind schedule. While it won't be open at the end of this month, officials hope to have it open towards the beginning of summer. The pier itself is more than 100 years old and at 489 feet long, it extends well into the Atlantic Ocean. The beating the pier took during the nor'easter was not the first and unfortunately probably won't be the last. It was also damaged extensively during Superstorm Sandy. But no matter what Mother Nature throws towards the pier, Buddy Jenkins, the franchise owner and operator, says it will stand the test of time. Uh, the pier itself has been here since the uh, early 1900s, and it needs to stay here. It's a part of remembrances, part of history. That's what creates a repeat guest. That's what creates the ongoing future of Ocean City, the remembrances. And I don't think anybody would argue with that. Lisa? Sean, when you head into Ocean City, you know the boards, the inlet, the fishing pier, and the totem pole. But do you know what it means? From Chopper 16, the 25-foot hand-carved totem pole at Inlet Park was a gift from famous artist Peter Toth to the state of Maryland. It was created in 1976 to represent an Assateague Native American who called the shores of Maryland and Virginia home until the mid-1700s. Toth actually created 49 more totem poles, one in each state to promote unity among all people. Well, you probably know by now there's a lot to do and to see in Ocean City. But you know, you don't have to do it all on foot. Take it from Sean. Oh boy, I can see where this is going. Good thing he's not too close to anyone. Up next, Sean shows us how fun it can be when you hop on two wheels and go for a ride. And Springfest and all of Ocean City is a sight to see when you parasail over the sea. Just wait till you see. Or maybe you want to explore the water on one of these bad boys. We'll tell you how to make it happen. When Delmarva Life Springfest 2016 continues, we'll be back before you know it.